and, and a influencer who has amassed 1.5 million people in followers. It's a good one. <laughs> hey, Amanda. Hi. I'm trying to set this up. Okay. No, I love that. Girl, you look good for 9 a.m. Thank you. Hold on. I'm trying to make sure it stays where you can hear me. Can you hear me? <laughs> yes. Okay. Uh, let me introduce you again. She is the boss babe of Beverly Hills, who is an influencer who's now in real estate. It's the incredibly beautiful and talented Amanda Lynn. Amanda, welcome to the show. Thank you so much for having me. Tell us where you are right now. Right now I'm in my room. I'm in West Hollywood. So you can see your room. I had to send her a chandelier. I love that chandelier. <laughs> I love that. Thank Here you. I am. I'm, I'm in Malibu at an Edward Fickett that we're shooting for um, <laughs> Architectural Digest. Look at that. It's Beautiful. Pretty. Right? I love it. But I wanted to take time out to sit down and talk to you about your incredible uh, career as an influencer and also your trajectory now to become a real estate agent at the agency. Tell us about you joining the agency. So I am beyond excited. The agency was my number one choice where I wanted to work. There's a lot of great brokerages in California, but Mauricio hired me himself and that was like such an honor to me. So I'm super excited and I'm going to start my career, even though it's COVID. I'm looking <laughs> for it, so. That's so crazy. When I was first starting out in real estate PR, I ran up to Mauricio at a party he was throwing. Yeah. It was a huge party and I was like, I love what you guys do. You're so off the cuff. You're so different. And I want to work with you. And he said, well, all you have to do is uh, apply. We're actually looking for a publicist. And uh, this girl wouldn't let me into the party. And I snuck in. And I said, well, who do I need to talk to? And he's like, oh, just talk to Megan over there. And it was the same girl who wouldn't let me in. The same the girl they told you no? Yeah. <laughs> it's awesome. See, well, I thought you get rejected, but you have to keep going. That's the whole point, right? They say th that's and they appreciate like chutzpah and balls at the agency. And, of course. Uh, also, no assholes at the agency. That's one of their rules. Well, that's good. That rule. That's a good and one. So as before we share some of your incredible listings, I wanted you to tell us a little bit about how you use Instagram to and how you intersected your Instagram following with real estate. Of course. Well, Instagram, um, real estate is on digital now, especially during COVID. We're all stuck in our houses. And totally. there's the end of places selling just straight off social media. People are willing to buy things off social media, the pictures they see, the content that's out there. So that's something that I feel like I have an advantage. My social media influencing background helped me build those connections and relationships that I'm going to transfer into the real estate world. And I have good connections with people, so I'm going to learn a lot from everyone. And I'm super excited, looking forward to it. I'm super excited about that, too. So you have the most Instagram followers of anyone we've had on the show. How did you, how should people at watching this build their audience? What was your, what was the secret? So when I built my audience a while ago, I was coming from a different point of view. I was doing more modeling and stuff then. And one of my friends, JoJo, she has like over 10 million followers. I learned a lot from her about the business side of Instagram and social media because she knows what she's doing. So I'm open to learning from everyone. And I feel like that's something that's valuable. If you tell people like, you're successful at something, let me learn from you. Most of the time they take that as a compliment and you'll see how much they're willing to help you. But I grew my Instagram off modeling and then I kind of changed directions. I wanted to be more respected for like my mind and my business outlook because I knew one day I would be doing real estate. So I started to transfer all of that. And then I, instead of focusing on influencing and modeling, I built connections with um, the big uh, real estate pages like houses, luxury right. houses alone partnerships are extremely valuable because since real estate is digital now houses gets 200 million impressions a month that's so insane I, which one that's coming up that i'm working with i'm going to be doing the marketing i'll speak about it a little bit later on if you mm -hmm. haven't seen this house yet you're going to see it all over social media because those relationships you get them to blast your house a bachelor an athlete anyone that's looking for a house like that will see it visible on instagram like so true spend hours on Instagram every day. So what, and I, I wanted to show a little peek of what you did with uh, one of the agency's homes. You kind of oh, made yes. this content. The Beverly House. That was a dream. I manifested seeing this house. I posted this house on my page 
because I'm a big JFK and Jacqueline Kennedy Onassis fan. I have pictures of them in my house. They <laughs> moon there this movie has so much history and leonard ross owns it i got to tour this house and it was like a dream come true it's amazing it's on three and a half acres 119 million dollars it's got like 18 bathrooms or 25 bathrooms 18 bedrooms it's huge and it's, it's where they shot the bodyguard the god the bodyguard the godfather um beyonce shot her black is keen like visual album there so there's a lot going on it's amazing okay but this house has been on the market for a long time the agency just recently took it over and yeah i know that social is a big part of their push because you do reach people in a different way so what social content are would you recommend making for a new listing like something on gonna need a lot because people aren't spending 120 million it's at 119 now they've adjusted price it was at 125 I think a few months ago so they're still knocking six million dollars off this property but it's three and a half acres in the flats of Beverly Hills prime location people aren't buying this overnight you know what I mean it's gonna have a certain percentage of person that's able to spend that money do they want to keep it that way do they appreciate the history do they want to renovate it they right have a lot right that you need well, to come up with money <laughs> like, for example, we're here today doing a photo shoot, but we're also going to shoot Instagram reels and we're going to do some yes. stories while we're here. So reels, I've learned from my research with Instagram lately that reels, Instagram wants you to post four to seven reels a week. So that's something that I because they're trying to be like TikTok. That's what I read this week, four to seven reels, because that's the direction that Instagram is taking. If you do what they want, then your algorithm gets moved up. They like that. Amazing. So that's the way to do it. So making reels, filming vlogs, having great photos at certain times of the day when it's the most beautiful. Um, just a lot, maybe having an event there with certain key people that have a huge following. Certain things like this are all valuable, but with a property of that stancher, you need to get people in there that can afford it. So yeah. Amazing. Well, let's hop yeah. over to our first game, which is what the Insta? What the Insta? Okay. Well, I'm going to show you a picture from your Instagram and you have to explain to us in 30 seconds what is going on in this picture. Okay. okay. You yeah. have 1.5 million followers. Here's the first one. Boom. That was my dog. It was almost her first birthday. So I got her paws and her little hair colored at the groomers. And I put the, pr this purple thing is for travel. It's supposed to keep her like calm down. I don't think it works at all. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, what? Smell. <laughs> So I laid her on the couch and I have chandelier which shined a rainbow on her. So I just thought she looked like LGBT or something. I took a photo of her with a <laughs> rainbow and I posted it. I thought it was so cute. She's amazing. Okay, what the Insta is happening in this picture? This is one of my makeup artists, Elizabeth Suge. She created robes, which were amazing. Um, her brand is called Honey Silk. They're all velvet, satin. Mm. So she asked me to be one of the models for her shoot. So that's the house in Malibu that we did the shoot at, and those are her robes. Ooh, and what the ins is happening in this shot? This was in Dubai. I went and stayed in the desert in Dubai. That was something on my bucket list for one day. So we drove out into the middle of the desert, and I had to do it for the gram. So I posed with the car and looked very like. <laughs> oh, no, this is like the, uh, uh, how many, I don't even know how many likes this got because they cut it off, but my God. <laughs> it can my get God. off too, but I'm not going to miss a photo op. So you know what? With our roles in Dubai, never. Exactly. <laughs> well, if you guys don't already follow her, you better check out Miss Loam Diu. She has 1.6 million followers, actually, on Instagram. And if you're <laughs> just joining us, <laughs> you're watching Real Talk, where we are speaking with Miss Amanda Lynn, who recently just joined the agency and yep. is entering a new chapter of her career. Um, all right, well, now let's head to our next game, which is we're going to ask you Real Talk, two questions and you okay. have to answer one of them okay okay you can answer what was the most you've ever made off an instagram post or what agent would you not want to work with oh my gosh of course i'm going to take the instagram one because <laughs> i the agent it's all networking i'm open to working with anyone so you know i'm a nice person no drama i'm for that's it that's my girl <laughs> yeah <laughs> The most money um, off one post by itself or off something that had to do with Instagram, like a contract? It says an Instagram post. One Instagram post. I think I, um, I, think I made like $2,500 off one post years ago. It was for um, Jet Smarter. 
Oh, I amazing. Can promote Jets for Martyr, which is like the private jets flying, and you can have like right, a, right, right. Like a, uh, it's like a monthly payment or a yearly something that you do with them. Yes. With that, yeah. All right, well, now we're going to hop over to your listing. Well, it wasn't your listing, but you helped market it. 1518 Bel Air Road, six bedrooms, eight bathrooms, uh, and two half baths, a little over 9,300 square feet. Amanda, you worked with Mauricio to market this property. I want you to walk us through what you as an influencer did to, to bring value to this listing. Okay, so this Bashir Ueda at Douglas Element has this property, but I'm going to be helping them do the marketing on it where I'm going to make the reels, I'm going to shoot vlogs. He's also doing it himself. Bashir is a great realtor. He's been around for like 30 years. Um, so I'm hoping to learn a lot from him too, but I can come with the marketing. So it has beautiful views. It's very peaceful. It has an infinity pool. Um, you're a mile down Bel Air Road, but you kind of feel like you're in Costa Rica a little bit. The view is different than typical LA. It's not the city views that you might want, but you also get like the pee. The pool there is beautiful. It's got high ceilings, open floor plan. It's a beautiful house for a bachelor, an athlete. It's very modern. It's got an elevator. It's got beautiful bedrooms, a stunning office. It uh, faces the pool. It's got great lighting. It's a beautiful home. It's you stunning. So, all wait, so when you're shooting a reel of this property, what are you looking to capture? Like, are you going to go lift weights in the gym or are you going to go jump in the pool? So I am going to show one thing very special about this house is the view from the pool. If you go at a certain time of day, between 4 to 6 p.m., the sun starts to set. The lighting there is stunning. It's very peaceful. It has this really nice vibe. Um, Pascal did a great job. He renovated it when he bought the house and made it more modern. So the high ceilings, the natural light that you get, it's very bachelor. It's great for entertaining. He's hosted and fit a lot of people there. He hosts charities. He hosts things for the chief of police. Um, he's also had karma parties there. <laughs> There's so a what I'm hearing, what I'm hearing is when you're shooting a reel yeah. for a property, find what its most unique feature is. Would you say yeah. that's correct? Showcase women. I think it's more for bachelors or someone young and cool that would enjoy this house. Could be an athlete. In my head, I feel like it could be something like that. There's been athletes that have come and look at it in the past that were interested in it, basketball players and things of that nature. So I feel like it's more catered to that. But anybody that wants to come look at it, it's a beautiful house. And it's 1518 Bel Air. You get that Bel Air address, 17.750. Yeah. I, I love the house. I'm just so I curious, like, when, as, it, as someone who knows social media, when you approach creating content for a property, what, what do you look for on that first walkthrough? With this one, what I'm thinking, Bashir is going to do his own video. I'm going to shoot a vlog of this house, just walking and showing the house. And then I want to do more of, like, a lifestyle shot, someone, like, a beautiful woman maybe coming down the stairs, going to get her coffee, sitting and reading out. When you open the pocket doors, there's a beautiful view. It's peaceful in the morning. You can have your coffee. You can sit there and watch the sunrise. Things like that. Someone living in the house, showing the glamour of it, and also, you know, enjoy the beautiful things about it, like the outside. Incredible. Well, he's lucky to have you creating that content. And it sounds like Thank you're going to you. be doing even more of that when you're with the agency. I'm if you're just joining us, you're watching Real Talk with Amanda Lynn, the influencer turned real estate boss babe of Beverly Hills. And uh, we're going to go a little deeper into uh, a little more personal. Can you show us, uh, you're very fond of Birkin bags. Can you show us one of your Birkin babies? Yes, I'll show you the one I got for my birthday. This is the first uh, one I got from the store. Very proud moment for me. Oh, pink. my and I asked God. It the strats, of course, but I love her. She's beautiful. What's her name? Her name is Amanda. Because <laughs> <laughs> she, I got her on my birthday, so she's named after. Her name is Amanda. Her name is um, Amanda. But uh, I have Amanda. Some, I got one for Christmas. It's not a Birkin, but since they asked to see, I thought I'd show something different. Ooh. This one's more casual, but I feel like she's super classy. She's hot pink. She's classy. What? She's you called always... the... What's it's with like, the scarf around the handle? I put a little scarfs on their handles to protect it. Oh. Do you She's use them for a little bit and then sell them or do you always hold on to them? So I have one that I'm actually going to sell now. It was the first one that I got. It's um, a little big. I want like a newer, smaller black one. Black is my favorite color and I can use it all the time. But when they're too big, 
I feel like a 30 is a perfect size for me or smaller. When they're too big, it's for like the airport. <laughs> as bad as it sounds, <laughs> how I think of it. <laughs> I love that. I love that. And for uh, Amanda, what, uh, let me, if you're just joining us, you're watching Real Talk with Amanda Lynn. Amanda, you're new to the real estate world. Who is one agent that you would like to be your mentor that you look up to? Um, well, right now I'm going to say Mauricio, but anybody at the agency, just because I know they have so much knowledge, I can learn anything from them, but there, I have read Frederick Eklund's book, The Cell. I yes. watched it did yesterday, I think it was, and you talked about The Cell and what people have learned from that. There's a lot of things that I learned from that book. Um, one is to really be yourself. Another is to wear a watch because people remember you by your watch. Yeah. That was I thought, and he's never done business cards, which I thought was super interesting. He always emails right away. So I thought oh, that was interesting. What about the part where he talks about when you're starting out in real estate, spend 10% of your income on your clothes. On your and getting everything altered to fit correctly. So yes. I will order things because I have great style, I feel like, but you don't always have to spend the most money. Having style is knowing how to buy something not super expensive, but mm -hmm. for you or pair it with the right things. So there's things I can buy on sale for like less than a hundred dollars. You get them altered and the outfit looks like it costs 2000 bucks. Words I bought like black suit jackets and outfits and I got them tailored for $50 and they look incredible. Words of wisdom from Amanda Lynn it's and Frederick Eklund. Oh, right. But there's another, um, Ryan Serhant, I also admire, of course, the best. I want to learn from the best. He's amazing. His vlogs that he puts out, I watched the other night before I went to sleep and I literally couldn't sleep. I was so like anxious and excited. You know, the energy that they come with is so important. Your perspective and how you come with things and how you talk to people and being a good person. So those are the people I look up to. I get so much of that from you. From the moment we reached out to have you on the show, you were like energy positive. And I think that's why you'll succeed in real estate. You have to have that attitude. I feel like everybody that wants to succeed in anything has to be a little bit obsessed with it or very passionate. Mm -hmm. And I feel like everybody that I look up to, you can see that passion in them. And it's like, I'm ambitious and I have that passion too. So I'm excited. Once you put your talent with what you learn and your like fear go, then I feel like nothing can hold you back. So that's what I'm excited about. Yes, Amanda. Well, to close out our show, because uh, I got to get back to this photo shoot yes, here. I um, and I love speaking with you. We'll have to have you back. You'll have to keep us updated on everything you're doing at the agency. Thank you so much. It was so exciting to be on here, and I love talking to you. Oh, wait, I've got one more game before you go in the audience. You can play along. We're going to play Amanda's Man. Uh-oh. <laughs> this is where we help you find your work husband, which is going to oh, be... Oh, my work husband? Yeah, husband. yeah. You know, like a, a sing you're single, and yes. there's a lot of real estate agents who are single, so uh, the audience is going to help us choose between two men for you. Oh, my God. Okay. <laughs> the first bachelor we have on The Real Estate Bachelor is our friend Jacob Green, who's with the Altman oh. Brothers. He represents our young and hungry category. He's Love it. 28 years old, dapper, um, sells lots of celebrity homes, and is with the Altmans, and is single and really fun, has a great uh, personality. So... <laughs> Energy is uh, important. Energy, exactly. So, okay. uh, uh, super funny, great sense of humor, and driven. Love it. Okay. Next bachelor on Real Estate Bachelor is Tomer Friedman. He's a, he represents our established agent category. Mm -hmm. He's tall. He's foreign. He has oh, multiple, I like multiple homes. Uh-huh. He loves a good dinner. How he old is he? Uh, he's 42. That's normally what I date is someone that's a little bit older than me because guys that are younger than me, I'm scared they're more immature because guys, they immature slowly, not to be rude. But <laughs> I like someone who more knows who they are a little bit. You know what yes. I mean? So yes. normally I'll go for someone who's a little bit older. That's what I'm attracted to in general. So, Our but I'm audience, all about energy. Audience, weigh in. Do you think she should go with A, energy, young, Jacob Green, or B, established pedigree, um, Tomer Friedman, the king of the platinum triangle? We're waiting to hear what, uh, what the audience says. Someone Tomer says Friedman is a good match, says Dora Luxury Homes. B, uh, Daniel Calabra also says, someone says, hi, my princess. Katri Randall, uh -huh. Tomer, everyone's saying B. Uh, 
one person said neither. <laughs> Amanda, I like Norman. I like people that speak multiple languages. I think that's very attractive. People that have traveled and people that are smart. I always say my number one is someone's mind because if you're not smart, I not to be rude, but I will lose interest after a certain amount of time. If I learn something from you every day, then I will stay around longer. I swear it's the truth. Then I think we have a winner. It's BBB Tomer Friedman. Does he know that we're matched? Because he'll I, find. I, 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 he watches the show, so I will. I'm sure he'll see this. <laughs> Amanda, th <laughs> Amanda, thank you so much for coming back on. I know you're going to be such a success. Thank Lean you. into that digital. And thank you for sharing your, uh, your tips with us. Thank you so much. I'm looking forward to the next time. When's your first day at the agency? Well, I have no idea because offices are closed. So oh, yeah. He's been talking hmm. to me a little bit. We talk through social media. We talk a little bit here and there. And he has some exciting things coming up that he's mentioned to me. I don't know. I'm not going to say them yet, but things are looking exciting. So any, well, I'm ready anytime. We love you. Come back to the show and we wish you all the best. Everyone, it's the boss babe of Beverly Hills, Amanda Lynn. Thank you so, so much. much. Bye. Bye. <laughs> How sweet is Amanda Lynn? I love her so much and I wish her all the best in her new career. I'm Alexander Ali. I've got to go because we're here on set at a shoot in Malibu for Architectural Digest. So you'll see a little bit of behind the scenes of this house tomorrow on our Instagram when we post a little tour with the agent, Nick Partridge. Once again, thank you so much to the boss babe of Beverly Hills, Amanda Lynn. You guys can catch the full show on our IGTV later. And uh, once again, thanks for tuning in and showing your support. I'm Alexander Ali. Bye-bye.